This is my setup. There's a few fish in there. Very small. Tupperware. You can see I decided to go with guppies for my setup. Um, I like the idea of guppies because they reproduce fast, they're hardy, they're tough fish. Um, and I thought that the fact that my plants are so new, a few of them are still seedlings, one of them is starting to actually take root. Uh, I started them off in a pot and I moved them over to this setup today. The substrate for the pods are cotton. Never seen that used in an aquaponics or hydroponics, but I thought I'd give it a shot. If anybody would like to see a different alternative uh, substrate for this type of setup, you'll find out if this works. I'm going to give a review, or not a review, but a follow-up video in a week or so. And hopefully every week or every couple weeks after that to see the progress of it. Uh, this Tupperware, most people have them in the house. I didn't have one like this where the, the gasket sealed the, the rim of it. I had an idea that from my experience with just aqua, you know, fish tanks and stuff, that I might have an issue with drainage on the outside if it didn't have a seal. I saw this in the store, little mom and pops, uh, bodega type market. Two bucks. Can't beat that. Can't beat it with a bat. Little solo cup shots, shot cups. I got a pack of 25 for a dollar. So, you know, just to give you an idea of the cost of this setup, this hose at a pet shop for a dollar for, I forgot how many feet. Um, enough for what I needed. This little stone, little bubbler stone. You got two in a pack for a dollar. Very cheap setup, cotton. Most people have that laying around the house. Even if you don't, you can get a dollar store bag of it for a dollar. Um, you know, very cheap or affordable, I should say, and cheap, frugal. This light I had hanging around. It is, in fact, a sun blaster, but specifically for plants. Um, not sure how it came to my possession, but they say I might, yeah, that's why I can't see. Turn the light on. There you go. Sun Blaster 0413. It's about a 24 inch uh, T5 light to light it. And it's just to supplement the sunlight that they get throughout the day from being in the window. So, because that's initially where they sprouted, was an initial as a windowsill in their pot. Um, they didn't want to splurge and get some fancy grow light or anything, spend hundreds of dollars, and I'm just starting with this venture of this hobby. Um, I wanted to make sure that it was affordable and it wasn't a, a, a big hit on my wallet. I don't know about most people, but for me, I don't like to invest into something that's not going to... I don't want to over-invest into something that I'm not sure is of the results. So, try to keep it low cost and, you know, check back with me to see the progress. Hope it helps. If you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave them. I'm open to all feedback, so 
Let me know what you think. Have a good one.